Hello, and welcome to the um, MicroStrategy training for Virginia Tech. Today we're going to talk about the MicroStrategy plugin for Excel and how to run a report once you have your Excel plugin set up, which we covered in the first uh, video. So if you click on the MicroStrategy um, plugin button, you will get the uh, options that we talked a little bit about in the last video. But in particular, you're going to sign into Office with the star icon, and it will uh, ask you for your LDAP authentication. And so you type in your good um, password. And it will retrieve the projects that are in that, that instance, in this case the production instance. And we only have one project, so pick that one, production. And now you have the same thing that you had when you, you're really, when you log into the web into production. You have your folders, your shared reports, your my folders, uh, just as we talked to, talked about previously. Oops. And then behind. All right. So if you want to run a report, you have to go uh, find one. And so I'm going to first look at my reports. And I have this spot 01. Now this is a document, so it has a few different, uh, different features on it. But I'm going to just run it. And it popped up over on my other screen. But I'll bring it over. Ask me for a term. Uh, I'll just pick the default term here, execute the report, and it will bring up the report window itself, but it will also bring the results of that report into Excel. Uh, it just brings it one-to-one -one in this case because I'm running a document, same format that you would see in PDF you're seeing in Excel. It isn't particularly helpful, but we'll talk about how to modify that uh, very soon. So you have your report window, your, your window into MicroStrategy itself, and then you have the results that show up. And you see by default, it started in uh, slot A1 of your top uh, worksheet and will work its way down. Uh, they, you can adjust that, and we'll talk about that in a little bit too. So. That's great for a, um, a, a document. Now let's try and run a report. So I'm going to go back up to shared reports and um, access some data sets, which are the raw data that feed into documents. And I'm going to run, oh, let's run the same report as a data set. And if I run it, it will ask me, here's the um, the report execution window, the prompt window, I'm going to take the default prompt, execute the report, and it's giving me the report. Now, one of the problems you see is that it's not repeating the uh, uh, items so that you don't really have a true spreadsheet. You have the non-repeating items uh, but just like you would in the report. That can be fixed by going to your report options and you run the report as flattened. Now the report options are on the, the screen where your list of reports are and your my reports and shared reports. So uh, that's the window you would find that. You click on the reports icon and you can run the report in all of these different ways. If you were looking at a, um, a PDF report, well, you have to have a report highlighted. Uh, if I'm looking at, at a uh, document, you don't get those options, not all of them. So let me go back to the spot on one that I had prior, and I go into reports, and you see these are grayed out. I can't run this report flattened because it's a document. But if I go to the data sets, which I was at previously. 
the data sets are the basis for the documents. And if you're an analyst, you have access to the data sets if you're at the, uh, the analyst level. And you may have data sets in your, in your own area. Um, you can tell by the icon whether they're a data set or if you look up here, you see the documents have the little red icon. Okay, so let's um, highlight the data set and look at the reports options. And you can see you can run it in many, many different ways. If I run this report flattened, you see the difference. We also see that it's just creating a new, um, a new, a new uh, worksheet down at the bottom because you're moving from one worksheet to another. So um, you can define where the worksheet starts. There are many, many ways you can you can um, uh, format your reports. And the best way to figure that out is to go to the help that's on right on the MacroStrategy plugin screen. And it has very detailed options on how to uh, format your reports and where, where to put them when you're starting. Okay, So you can go to, uh, this has all of the help, but it will specifically point to the parts that, that uh, you care about. Um, what you really have to decide is how you want it formatted and then go into the help and decide how you, you know, what, what parts will allow you to get to that, point, that, that uh, uh, option. If you look under the workbook option, you see you can refresh all your reports, you can re-execute all your reports, you can re-prompt all your reports, you can clear them all, and we'll talk about these in a little bit later, but um, you can clear your saved prompt answers. So there's lots of ways that you can set up your workbook to, to when you come back in at the next time. It's working exactly the way you expect. Uh, again, you have many of these. You can run your report to a grid or a chart, grid and a chart, um, to an outline, which is essentially what we did in this other um, default process, uh, the flattened, which we just talked about, uh, lots of different um, different options and you really just have to experiment and get it set up the way you want and then every time you come into this uh, Excel spreadsheet and, and um, choose your MicroStrategy options so automatically refresh. Okay, so that's a little bit about running reports. Uh, in addition, Uh, you want to look at the options that are on your toolbar. Uh, so let's look at this options. Now this is not in that MicroStrategy window, which now I don't know where it went. Yeah, it's not in the reports window, which is what we just had but instead it's in the options window on your page. And in here is where you really set um, your Excel toolbar options. So uh, things like, uh, let's see, your placement. Now this is where you can set where, if this one, you saw that this is always going to a new sheet. Every time I ran a report, you can say place a report at a, at a selected cell, prompt for replacement of the report, you can prompt at the time if you run it. Um, what happens if you have multiple reports? Do you want them all on the same worksheet or do you want them on the new sheet? Uh, if you run several reports uh, and the page by, uh, you, like if you had a uh, report that did a page by, let's say, page by question in this particular case, every question could be on a separate worksheet in your in your report. It all depends on how you want to utilize the system. Uh, sizing, 
Uh, we have a maximum rows and columns limit. You can adjust that. Uh, that's really up to you. The scale. And you can say, say, what do you want as the worksheet name? I chose to just leave it as the report name, but you can use any other kind of name that you want. Um, it would just uh, um, put the, the name that you desire. And you have likewise special features on the PowerPoint and on the Word in order to uh, adjust how, how uh, MicroStrategy renders on those, in those tools. So those are just a little bit of the options that are available in uh, in the MicroStrategy reporting. Uh, the best way to learn about them is to go into this help icon, click on it, and you have a total resources to what all your options are. Or get on the BI Hub and. Uh, uh, start having some conversations about the MicroStrategy Office plugin because it is a, a very powerful tool. And uh, in our next video, we'll talk a little bit about uh, securely sharing these um, these plugin uh, spreadsheets and Word documents and PowerPoints, where you can control how the next person sees the data and whether they can refresh it or what you know how you how you want to secure the data that you're sharing in this uh, platform. So that is all for this video. Thank you.